appeals court ruling the former president will have to answer for any of his efforts to overturn the last election. But Trump says that court shouldn't have the final say. And a federal appeals court dealing a major legal blow to former President Donald Trump. The three-judge panel rejecting Trump's claims that he is immune from prosecution for alleged crimes that he committed while he was president. The decision is now opening the way for special counsel Jack Smith to prosecute Trump on multiple charges, accusing him of trying to undermine the 2020 election. The judges in the D.C. Circuit Court not only sided with the Justice Department, but they repeatedly eviscerated Trump's behavior after his 20. 20 defeat. Their affairs correspondent Paula Reed. Uh, Paula, a Trump spokesman says the former president plans to appeal this. How much time do his lawyers have? So the circuit gave them until next Tuesday to tell the Supreme Court that involved here. Of course, Trump's team uh, would love to make another trip to the Supreme Court this year because their strategy is really about delay. Former member. Well, it's a very strong opinion from the lower court. Unanimous, well grounded. And, and so I think, I think it's going to cause some tensions behind the scenes, not just because this is an unanswered question, but because it's also Donald Trump. Now, we have on Thursday, the justices all is that, or it could take some time. If the justices decide to hear this case, Brianna, they would likely let us know sooner rather than later, because that would mean that they would have to set a new schedule of getting the more substantive briefs on the merits of this immunity claim to them, and they'd want to do it before we get to summer when the election is practically underway. Yeah, certainly. Uh, Joan, thank you for that. We do appreciate it. Boris? Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen says the economy is strong and is absolutely headed in the right direction. While speaking on Capitol Hill, Yellen pointed to some of the positive headlines that we have been seeing, like a healthy job market, cooling inflation. Yet, many Americans say despite these apparent signs of improvement, they just aren't feeling it. With a recent CNN poll finding a majority of people believe President Biden's policies have actually...